Okay, so we're whole, so you got it. So good Hi, to have you here you. for us to I, talk. I'm really happy to be back on your Looking show. Looking good as always. So good to welcome you. I want to have the you on my show at some point. Sure, anytime. You know, yeah, because, we've done um, that a couple times. Remember, we but, talked about Oliver Richardson one time. Remember, he passed did, one of the guys. Remember? Did, did we? I don't. Yeah, we did. Oh, Oliver. Yeah, yeah, he was a he was great a, guy. Great. He and did some great. And M is a tremendous he institution. Did some great shows yeah, with me. Yeah. Very landmark shows with yeah, my show, New Realities. That's on every Monday night. And in the audience, welcome very, very much. A conversation, a dear friend of mine and the universe, that being Alan Steinfeld. He's a, uh, a producer here. It has been. He's got a program, New Realities, that he care that he uh, discusses consciousness, evolution, and other kinds of such matters. Been doing it for a long time. He's a very knowledgeable person. It's a great pleasure to welcome you because mm -hmm. I know you, as I, have been very interested in the question of. What's it all about in yeah. terms of the universe and so forth, <laughs> including uh, uh, organic evolution? Well, practical evolution. Now, uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. I'm going to say some things, but I never deny that evolution happened. Mm -hmm. But what is evolution? Yeah. Which is how does one species become another species, yeah. right? How do and there's yeah. no actual documentation in modern times of how one species becomes another. There's adaptation, right, where um, different species adapt to their environment by getting thicker coats or changing the color of their fur or getting mm -hmm. longer beaks. That but could be almost Lamarckian. It is Lamarckian. Yeah, right. I mean, I'm saying that mm -hmm. Lamarck over Darwin, mm -hmm. Darwin doesn't give an explanation but, uh, for speciation, okay. which is different than adaptation. You know uh, the difference that I'm talking well, about? Well, I do in a sense. Okay, yeah, great. But I wonder if we could begin even at a more elemental okay, level. Okay, good. Because one of the things we live in a time of just absolutely incredible knowledge uh, coming to us. I just told you I sent off to have my DNA. That's right. I'll be back in a couple of weeks. I'm going to take my background thousands of years back where I come from. It's amazing they can do that. We didn't know about neurotransmitters 35 years there's ago. There's a lot more how we the won't brain know works. in the future. And there's much more to know. There's more to know than we don't And know. one of the things I think is possible to begin with, I as you, I think, I'm not sure, but I am a great fan of Bucky Fuller. Mm -hmm. And Bucky Fuller postulated that the universe, let's begin this universe in a certain okay. sense, that things are synergetic, that there is a behavior of systems unpredicted by the sum of the parts. There's mm. sort of a resonancy that interconnects subsystems of an overall system. Right. And the one that we can deal with here, uh, perhaps uh, best, is uh, this universe that mm -hmm. we are in. And I'm very taken by the fact that um, the CERN uh, accelerator, mm -hmm. it's having trouble, but they're gonna get, they have, we have now a picture of the shock wave of the Big Bang that's postulated by Einstein and so forth. Within 200,000 years of its occurrence, 13.8 billion years ago. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty amazing ability for consciousness to take the measure of things mm -hmm. uh, coming out of evolution. But that it is a synergistic universe that we live in. And it, this, this thing with CERN, they're going to get a picture of that shockwave within a second of its actual occurrence. Okay. But now let's that's, talk about postul that's postulating this universe at the beginning. Mm -hmm. About 13.8 billion years. And now Misha Kaku, mm -hmm. who will have played, we've played a program before this airs with you on Tuesday mm -hmm. of next week. Um, he's, he and uh, 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 the, 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 the mathematics of string theory uh, give uh, an understanding that this universe, we're trying to get a hold it's of a It's one big of pick. many universes. Yeah, multi-universe is connected by Okay, then by let's wormhole. talk about what synergy but, is. You can't just throw out a word okay. like that just because Bucky Fuller said it and say uh, synergy. So synergy means there's a whole, a whole, and that it, the parts make up the whole, but the parts produce are more, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Exactly right. Okay. And there's a development of understanding that through time. Right, but the and whole exists then as a, um, as a unity and the parts come together to make up the whole. So the whole, the whole of the thing presents the, um, the completion of it. Well, the only thing I know, wanted to do is I wanted to, yeah, the gestalt, right? Yeah. Or, or, and then you want to get a measure of what it is. And there's one thing that we know, or we have understanding with all closed systems, is uh, thermodynamics. Yeah, but everything is thermodynamic. See, that's the basic difference, I think, in our argument. I'm saying yeah. the universe is an open system. Yeah, but I want to take exception to that on okay. the basis. And you're saying it's a closed system. No, what I'm saying is we have to take of it in the the, the second law of thermodynamics. Mm -hmm. All systems move toward chaos to the limits of the system. That doesn't explain the Big Bang. You just well, mentioned the Big Bang. Okay, How the, would the, that explain 
um, something coming from nothing or nothing, something out of nothing because if That's the Big Bang biggie. happened, That's well, biggie. It's, the, it's the only, you, <laughs> no. you can't claim thermodynamics in a closed system of the universe and say this big explosion happened because it doesn't make sense. Well, we no, we but, need more laws. You're going by Newtonian physics. That no, does not I'm not explain. at all. Well, not thermodynamics at all. Not at wasn't created thermodyna by, uh, no. by Isaac Newton. No, That's no, the second no. law of thermodynamics. Yeah, I know that, but it's also accepted in terms of a closed yeah. system. But, and the thing is, we may well be, particularly with superstring theory on the horizon, uh, a closed system, but we and the also, law applies. If we're an open system, let's mm -hmm. consider well, that. Well, that's, that's let's synergy. Say, the reason I like synergy mm -hmm. is the behavior of systems unpredicted by the sum of the parts, which means also takes a temporal quality mm -hmm. that there are going to be understand. If we were Australopithecine four million years ago, we would not have been able to talk the way we're talking now or make right. a kind. So there is a movement through time, there all right? There is a movement and through time. And then there is a more and more you can understand, and it's a behavior of systems unpredicted predicted by the sum of the parts. I think we're coming to the end of the human experience now. Uh, the human we're coming experience to, as we know as it. As we have known and it throughout And we are evolving into new species. See, we're about to leave this planet, as, and with science, I'm saying, yeah. and we're about to join a galaxy full of life. Now, no, that's not woo-woo. No, that, that is woo-woo. Is, that is not, because if you look at my interview that will roll in with Bruce Lipton, yeah. it's a natural movement of evolution to go from the one what to the it? many to the one to the many. This is so important. Okay. You see, this is why I disagree with Darwin, who says that evolution is arbitrary and chance. No, there's a fundamental law to evolution. What is science but the study of the laws of nature? If you take Darwin's theory and you say it's, it's, it's arbitrary, mm. you're saying saying there are no laws to evolution. And yeah. I'm saying, according to Bruce Lipton well, there and Lamarck, are no, there begin is a law, a natural universal law to evolution. One of the things within a synergistic mm. grasping of things is there are no absolutes anywhere of anything. Nothing is absolute. Well, then we might as well throw are, physics away if you no, say no, there no, is no, laws of physics. You, no, no, you, there are certain generalized principles we can have within the system of understanding mm. and that the ability to take the measure of understanding what well, really is real. I'm glad you say that. that left you a little open. It's our system it leaves of an, understanding. It leaves an opening upon a transformation that might bring us into in the evolution of, let's say, consciousness well, in the universe. Forget consciousness. It's just a greater understanding of the laws of the universe. Well, I would like to think about a change of consciousness because uh, we... Say, can you, we go back? I'm talking but about... your understanding of... You have to define consciousness for you and I'll define it for me. When you say consciousness, what do you mean? Well, consciousness is... Uh, I'd, I'd rather not go okay. there. I'd okay. rather let's not. Go, it's go, just a... Go, it's okay. a bit to understand, okay. but it, we're talking about big things. We're talking about the universe that may be nested within multi-universes mm -hmm. that are connected wormholes and that kind of stuff, which is really exciting. Not proven, we don't know. We're going to know more. We know more now. We're exponentially, but we have some things we get. We get the genome. That only just happened. Right. I mean, we ought to get a sense of how miraculous although I don't like the concept of miracles and no, everything, how, how incredible the time is that we live in. We did a program with Isaac Asimov, mm -hmm. a little, we aired a little while ago. Yeah. He said, this is the generation. After 200,000 years, I presume, if we're talking about Homo sapien species of which we're a part, that that species has been on this planet for it's about 200,000 years. They've been able to discover that through mitochondrial DNA right. and so right. forth. We agree on that? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Okay, so that's it. Uh, so that's a, that's a, that's a, that's ten thousand generations. This generation is the defining generation in it terms is. of the evolution of that consciousness. And do you know why? It's something that Marshall McLuhan said, hmm. and no one understood it when he said it. Uh. We are a global village. In the 1960s, when he threw out that idea, he said, no, what are you talking? Now everybody knows we're a global village. We are coming together as one planet. That is so important for our species to take the next leap of evolution. You see, I'll describe but, it and I'll show what Bruce Lipton said. Yeah. We have the single cells. The single cells come together and they form a community of cells. Well, that community comes together and they form a multicellular organism. With all due respect, right? we did a program That's a couple of years ago. One of the leading persons one of the major things that occurred in this universe is uh, it's, photo, uh, it's, it's thermodynamics. It's amazing that this planet was able to stay in a certain orbit in relation to the sun within temperature ranges within fault. Yeah, how do you it, explain within, that? Over billions of how years. How do we explain that? It is a thing that is so incredibly uh, unexpected that you it's could have such a thing. 
and we have this evolution of, and most of the, the beginning of the organic process from inorganic is what you understand, without bringing in some God who mm -hmm. started it, or some, you know, we have a self-reflective consciousness, we can take the measure, understand things in a big way, so they have to have some explanation of what it's about that we've invented throughout the history, both in literature and religion and so right. forth. But what we have, we're now coming to an understanding, and we're coming to the point where we had the unique ability to, to, to uh, extend consciousness into the environment, make the environment other than in an Eden-like sense was the given of most of the creatures one would submit, and that we're coming to a point where that has had such a dimension, and I don't think there's anything saying we're going to make a great leap. There's nothing says we're going to make a great leap, or that the system of the universe is meant for us to make a great leap of liberation and consciousness and so forth, or any of the things that when, things like, we may be on the verge of destroying our species. Or we may we be have on web. the verge of making a leap, and now leaps are not predicted, like you say. No, but we can talk of, about, you've talked with Eldridge and punctuated equilibrium. I didn't equilibrium. talk, but I studied his work. Yeah, and right. Punctuated um, equilibrium, equilibrium and evolution means that species evolve in leaps. Yeah, but you bounds. made a big jump there. You were talking about as cells get together. There was a long period. You were talking Billions oh, it's a of long years, period. billions, and there was inorganic. It was inorganic. Well, no so, one can explain how the inorganic how, became organic. One of the people who's closest to that is that we did. Robert Shapiro is doing research. What does he Peach say? Well, it's very, very complicated, and they don't have any answers. They, they don't, don't have. For, they well, don't no, have an that, answer. That, that is the answer that they don't have any. No, answers. they don't have an answer yet. They're getting close, they and they've what? got research that goes along those lines. It was the beginnings. It wasn't DNA or any of that thing mm -hmm. so complex. It was the beginning of RNA uh, and yeah. things like that. The beginnings of that that they got in trans. How from, does life come it from non-life? Is the it's that's the, a big t it's the question in religion. Right, but you were and, jumping and right away to cells and so forth. Okay. That took a long oh, time. Oh, so you want to go, and but, the vast majority but, of the time when there uh, was organic evolution, but you don't have were, an answer were, for that. It, um, when, no, you have answers within our understanding, and we're getting there better all no the time. There are no answers. You said there is no answer no, for No, don't say that. No, that's, you said, that's how a, does organic not, life come from inorganic they life? They don't have an absolute. There are no absolutes. What are the answers There they are have? no absolutes. Okay, is there, there is any answer? There is no. If there is no answer, we don't understand. It doesn't mean we're coming, we're coming to understand. We're understanding it more. We're understanding it more than we did when we were Australopithecine. I don't think in, so. In four million years it's ago, a, we're coming. another stab we agree, in the dark. Home, home, uh, home Hominoids were coming up to hominoid line in the evolutionary process. That's we all we a hominoid. Then you had habilius, homo okay. habilius. We did so. There's that. But at the beginning, you had to get to the constituents of the organic process itself, and the vast majority of that process of evolution was not. It wasn't. It was just bacteria. Mm -hmm. It was bacteria, and we live in a sea of bacteria. Even bacteria and from inorganic matter is we, a miracle. Yes, isn't that's it? the big one. That's, that's a big it. jump, and they're making progress on that. But making the point progress being, is a stab in the dark until they recognize... But once you get to evolution, once you yeah. get to well, the organic process... that's where I was going. Once over we half get to of the process, over half of the time scale and the evolutionary process, 650 million years ago, all life form, fauna, was unicellular spongiform. Right. There was no sex or anything like that. There was a lot of... It was a long process I of know. evolution that develops. And then we get to organic evolution with the, uh, you know, with the things changing. Mr. Darwin gave us a window on how that occurred. But he didn't. We, he didn't. That's my argument. Darwin okay. did not you want, give us you, a window. You, you want to argue with the basic premises of evolution no, and the Darwinian? No, the basic Darwinian. And, I'm not denying okay. evolution, of oh, you're course. Not, you're not. I'm, okay. I'm denying Darwinian evolution. A lot evolution. of people do. No, that's ridiculous. No, it's but, obvious that there's evolution. You know who does? The woman who just, I, won, the woman who just won the election down in Delaware for care. the senator thinks there was care. no evolution. I don't, I'm, we're not talking about that. I don't agree with Darwinian evolution. Okay. Let's name the constituents of Darwinian evolution evolution, right? Well. That competition ensures survival. I'm saying co cooperation ensures well, that's survival. A very, that's a, and I'm also that's saying that judgment. the big thing about yeah. Darwin, he says chance mutation. I'm saying it's not a chance mutation, it's an intentional mutation as the organism adapts and 
changes with the environment. That's where speciesization comes in. Does well, that he, make sense? he certainly everybody has to take that into account. That's well, obvious. There's going to no, be I'm an saying adaptation. No, the organism is with intelligence is in touch well, with the environment. Do you, do you object to the idea that there is a thing mutation? Of course. Well, there's do you mutation. object to the principle? You see, you want to get to generalized principles, not a particular view well, of the universe. Look, and particularly, what we want to avoid are all the things that posit a god. We're not or a, a god, an but intelligence we're, that gives we're, us we're source. Positing a, an intelligence no for given. sure. There's no. not not an intelligent designer, but an intelligence within the organism to respond to its environment and to almost will itself into being a new species. Well, that's a taking a point, certain point of view you know? of things and everything. That may be, maybe not. It may not be. It's a very lot of different kinds of... Uh, di we got 100 trillion cells in the human organism, and, and they all, all work as a system. And they They're do. all subsystems. It's incredible. Now, if we that. go back to M theory, we have all these universes, and they create a synergistic effect as well. Well, we, we, we got to be a little careful I, because I, we're coming to there. a new understanding. If you go well, back... Uh, this Darwin is you talk about the new understanding. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and you talk about new realities. Well, and new you reality, do deal with a lot of people who are called new age and they're thinking well, about spiritual. Well, that's old now, new and age. And they're drawing but, they're but, drawing upon they're drawing upon a lot of the spiritual traditions with our wisdom schools look, that are very important. Did consciousness give birth to the body or did the body give birth to consciousness? Well, no, so that's the Plato well, we do versus have Aristotle. We, um, yeah. Yeah. Dialectic, yeah, right? that's right. And then we do have the division between the uh, Vedic and the, you know, the the, the Vedic and the what's the know. Vedic and the well, the the, the Eastern and the Western. East what? is West, and and the, 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 those of the Vedic tradition think consciousness was pre-existing and material came out of that. The others from the West think materialism right. came and consciousness right. evolved Will out we of ever that. Meet? So that's it. Yeah. The new science, mm -hmm. uh, based on people like Bruce Lipton, Bruce Lipton, are trying to merge the two. They're saying there is consciousness and there is this evolution towards a greater intelligence. Well, that would be so, Chardin, too, also, maybe. Yeah, Chardin Hardy, yeah. And, and yeah, there are Lamarck. people like... And Lamarck, yeah, Lamarck, Lamarck yeah, but, that would... But, but he was he, very popular in Russia, you know, Yeah, they and, were Marxists, but, but, you yeah. know, Darwin was more acceptable to the upper classes because it explained uh, social Darwinism and why the survival of the well, fittest were greater step. people, and, and that was a whole yeah, political Yeah, but the survival move. of the fittest, Ashley Montague and a lot of other people, that's a, that's a cheap shot in a sense to say that because well, that then you're just... saying some people are really cooperative and good and all the female principle and all of that and that's really mm, it. and the I'm other is that. just too th and in, in truth uh, nature is not such a beautiful thing. It's red in tooth and claw. So let's go over with everything the, eating everybody but, but let's else. let's just well, I don't know about that. There, uh, but let's go over the basic mysteries that we've named so far. How did the universe come from nothing? How did the Big Bang happen? What are all these universes doing together? What synergistic effect are they creating yeah. on us? Mm -hmm. And how did inorganic life become organic life? That's a big yeah. That and so, then also, how does humanity fit in? Mm. as it seems to me that if you use consciousness as your criteria, uh -huh. then consciousness is an understanding of the universe. And I, I, I would think that hom homo sapien apexes that in terms of the evolutionary pro as I see so it. No it's one has answered these questions probably since the Greeks at asked those questions 500 BC. So I'm, t I'm going with- And Buddha. Yeah. And Buddha and all the Five great B. thinkers. So yeah. you taking a stab at your um, quest for meaning, I'm taking it at mine. Yeah. I'm saying consciousness, there's something beyond the body, and we don't have to call it God, but I think there's something greater that is- um, Synergetic. Synergetic, it's that's a good way of putting it. It's something more than the sum of the parts yes. of the understanding. And it's non-material. No, well that, I would not, I would, I, say, I would say, okay, that's okay. good, you can say that non-material. What is it if it isn't it's, material? I'd say you have to be able to make arguments or understanding within a strictly materialistic context with no spirit. Why, because that why is limit ourselves to just materialism? Because, because that it puts you in accord with the realities as we can come to understand but, with the mind and it puts us beyond the kind of mythic things that were created by people. We're not talking people. about myth. Maybe there's a science to spirituality. Maybe there's a science to the soul going into the body and why you weigh what 26 it? ounces left after you uh, the the life force leaves the body. Well, there's been you a know? lot. So, there, there's been a lot of that 
given to us mm -hmm. over the long you haul. You have to look at all the analogy, uh, an anomalies. When you look at just materiality, it's like you're looking at the surface of a lake and you're saying, that's all there is is the surface. We're not going to look below no, the surface. No, not at all. You can understand and, it. We can well, understand can. it more. Within a materialistic context, we can understand the evolution of life out of inorganic. You can. We can you just told me you can understand no, no, it. No, no, no. You, you jumped. You, you Alan, said you didn't have no, any answers. All they did, uh, that's the kind of a thing that would be like the Tea Party doing or something. What? So you make it, you say, the, the science is always changing. And so its question is never absolute. They don't want so, absolute. Of course. They want to and be I moving along. I appreciate that. So and what's that's the different. answer they give now? Well, How did what they organic give, come out of What inorganic? they do is they put us in a synergistic universe where things are done by uh, thermodynamics. And that's a thing that we can You're understand. You're not explaining anything, Harold. Thermodynamic, all right, the thermodynamics is the uh, system that it, it, it involves the universe, and it's a basic principle that is there that we can, and then they have this evolutionary process of a consciousness that was emerging out of a very, uh, first, inorganic, finally organic uh, evolution developing, and then quite materialistically, there were these changes happened through the process of, uh, steady state, steady state, uh, punctuate, and punctuate, and then the but, new but, appears. But new new okay. species yeah. appear. Okay. And all the wonder we'll, that we'll there is now. We'll skip over all and the things we, that you didn't have an answer for, like how it went from inorganic to organic, which is fine. There is no answer. There's attempts. No, you, wait a minute. You didn't explain no, it. No, no. There isn't an answer. You know what we're getting There's no we're, absolutes. No, we're, I agree with all you. All right. So that means God. No. Okay. Forget no, about that would God. Be, okay. No. Forget. Just, yes. Absolutely. Forget about, so you, you can't resort to the things about we know the universe. We'll just say there is no answer. Okay? All right. That's no. We that's can agree about that. Say, no. It's different to say there is no answer. No, is that we do not know the answer. Okay. There and there's obvi something more than no. The sum. I agree with you. you Thank you. There is so an the answer. So the universe is, uh, is synergetic. No, I totally agree. And you can understand that there, there, entirely materialistic. There is a reason. No, you can't. You can, uh, in my view, you have to be able to explain it. If you have a leap from inorganic to organic. Mm -hmm. and you say we don't have the answer and there is an answer we both agree absolutely no, no. there is a reason synergetic what there may be an answer. We don't know if there is an answer. Well, the we may have a leap of liberation no, of the whole you human can't spirit. There, it, we, can see, we can say that it went from inorganic to organic, or there's a relationship. Over a huge period of time, and so we don't know. you can say know. there's a reason behind no, that, right? No, you don't assume that there is any reason or anything you're like that. You're saying there's no logic behind... No, you're saying there may be logic, well, or there may not. Well, there, there may be materialistic understanding, wait, or there wait, may wait, not. Wait, there wait. may be God, or there may no, not. No, there may be all of that. Whatever it's not it is. an absolute but answer. Harold, let me understand it. Are mm -hmm. you saying, I'm saying there's a, something happened that went from inorganic to organic, right? We mm -hmm. may not know the answer, mm -hmm. but let's just say that there was something that created Organic life from inorganic material. Also, and in that metaphor, when we were going it's not from a metaphor. no, we're we're no, at materiality just here. Materiality, but when that was going on, there was no consciousness close to being able to talk about it like you and I we now. Don't know. There was a process of getting from the earliest constituents of DNA and RNA okay. and so forth so, in an organic process so, through billions of years, through an evolutionary process that can be understood in materialistic terms. Yeah. you know that kind of thing. Evolution that came, well, and we may be at the end of the human experience. Experience, we're coming to 200,000 years. I, I, when you say that, doesn't mean that's just a fantasy. That's more like spiritual woo woo than anything I've, I'm into. Oh, not spirit, I, it's nothing spiritual. We're coming to a new point in human history. We're coming yeah. together as a whole species, a right. coherency. The internet, as this uh, interview will say, is yeah. the nervous system of the species. Hold up, Paula. Can we do as close up of my camera here on this you, uh, yeah, yeah. chart? Yeah. Here is the thing, I guess this is the thing yeah. from... Zoom in on this uh, chart. Can you come in on this? Which one? Because honey, here? Or have on, them come in on, on this? It. Because I'm this going is, the to is this Lipton? No, this is me, okay, good. plus Lamarck, plus Bruce Lipton, okay, yeah. plus all the... Here we go. Tell there, there's on the screen now. It's not a group, but this is called the Wheel of Evolution. So I'm trying to understand mm -hmm. how one species becomes another species. Mm -hmm. You know, how does something like an Well, hold it on there, please, because there's a lot of detail okay. he wants you to see Focus. oh okay, oh, okay. good okay 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 good so, talk talk um so how does um anything look like an elephant so what i'm saying there's a field of energy that exists around species and we call this in rupert sheldrake's term rupert sheldrake, morphic Rupert's resonance morphic resonance and morphogenetic field mm -hmm. now the morphogenetic field holds the species in form 
it holds it in its morphic resonance, which is form. Morpho is form. When, when factors from the environment... Did they go away for some reason? That's okay. Uh, we'll go back to you it. You want to go away from it? Yeah, it's, a, it's not working. It's okay. Oh, it's not working. It's okay. You can't I'll go it. over that. Yeah. So mm. what I say is, uh, and you can just listen to me. Yeah, okay. There's, a, there's an energy field, energy. Uh -huh. Everything is energy. We're not being spiritual there. We're just saying there's a form, there's an energy field. That's, photo, that, for, that's, that's thermodynamics. Right, yeah. that keeps a species in right. place. When stress... And the stars and when the planets. When stress is added to the morphogenetic field mm -hmm. with, um, with uh, a great frequency, the field then opens up, which is allows the species to change in accordance, in accordance to celestial radiation that's changing it and mutating it mm -hmm. in positive ways. Cosmic rays, like in... Cosmic yeah. influences. Yeah, okay, okay. That's, yeah, that's why the Earth has been through five... Um, extinctions. Extinctions already, because we as a planet are moving through different radiation belts. But with each radiation belt... Now, radiation people misunderstand. Some people think it's all bad. There's, as Paula Gloria has demonstrated, yeah, there's right. actually... Positive, low level, yeah. Low level, yeah. but cosmic radiation that stimulates genetic mutations and how in a close positive came, how, way. How close we came to closing the ozone hole. We were preparing I, to be I know, but to I'm saying that. there's positive results from in some environmental galactic celestial mutation. That creates things like the Cambrian Revolution where flowers appear overnight, where mammals change overnight. Practically, we're talking in total terms. So we have to include where we're moving in relationship to the galaxy and where certain rays of celestial influences are hitting the DNA. Celestial influences, I don't quite understand. I'm saying yeah. cosmic rays, yeah. cosmic radiation yeah. Creating changes in the environment of the Earth, yeah. and the species are adapting to the environment on the Earth. Well, I don't think anybody and, doubts that. There's an and adaptation. And also changing yeah. in the way of conscious intent. Well, the I consciousness. Throw that is, in there. Yeah, right. Consciousness. And that's, and that's Teilhard de. Teilhard and, and Teilhard Chardin. Day, but he yeah. wasn't a materialist. No, I know that. that. He was a. So Catholic, that's yeah. my overview of what I call. Uh, the wheel of evolution, which includes ecology, species change, and this was Bateson's thing. Yeah. No species exists alone. We mm. exist in relationship to the environment. Yeah, yeah. So if the environment changes, the species makes up the environment. Yeah. We have to change with the environment. And I think we're seeing that as a planet. Uh -huh. Also, we humans exist in the environment of the mind. You mm. know, we exist in an emotional environment. We do in and a unique way. Do you, do you think there's a unique quality to human consciousness or the way their brain works, I think there is. There is a unique quality, yeah. and it's because we're social creatures and we exist well, in a an media assumption. environment. Another Actually, Montague wrote term. really well on that. There was probably uh, all the talk about how you're going to have competition. It fits well into war mentality, where political leaders are leading people to steal the grain from somebody else and all the competition they say it's a competition right. so, uh, between species but there was also a characteristic of some species that was cooperative and that could have an, a, an advantage in terms of uh, getting the genome so, uh, uh, but, for, into the future but let's talk about consciousness a little bit because you use con I'm curious about how you yeah. use consciousness and then I'll explain my definition okay okay how do you describe what does consciousness mean well to I, you? I'm not sure to tell you the truth well, uh, you I've got a I don't, I'm know. not good at absolutes of a No, a just definition. define it how you define it for yourself. I'm interested. Well, it's a, uh, it has to do with mental processes and the development of, of uh, the ability to take the measure of things and an understanding. And uh, it has to do with the brain development of brain and sensory capability of the outer environment All in right. the evolutionary pr process all of which could be understood within materialistic terms, if you want to set that well, as Well, we have the brain. I, I use this way. We have the brain, we have the mind, and we have... Oh, wait a minute, the mind's a little bit... A little bit different the than the mind. That's more like brain. synergy. That's well, let me describe it. The brain is the hardware. The brain is the... The hardware. We the can't, we'll the agree brain. with that, right? Mm -hmm. It's the hardware. Yeah. You have a computer as a hardware. Mm -hmm. Now, the computer has software mm -hmm. that it runs on. That I call the mind. Mm -hmm. The mind is the software. But if you have software and hardware, and you have your computer, you need one more ingredient. And you know what that is to make that computer Information? Or, yeah. No, mm -hmm. you need the operator. 
operator. Uh -huh. The operator is uh -huh. consciousness. Uh -huh. The operator of the software and the hardware, mm -hmm. the infinite being, I know we're getting a little out there, no, it's all right. is the operator of the software and hardware. Very, consciousness yeah, I obviously is that operator. I'm, I'm very uncomfortable that, with the infinite being. All right, forget about infinite. We Just, don't know. One of the metaphors of uh, Eldritch's work, I like mm -hmm. Stephen Jay Gould, and the idea that it's it's new, species, accident, new, spe new species emerge within that context, um, that, that, you know, the, 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 uh, the evolution of varying forms and everything like that, and the form that it takes. You have steady state for a long time. Uh -huh. Uh, unicellular sponger form, 650 million years ago. And if you were a sponger form, you'd say, this is cool. And, does, and then there's an impetus that goes through, I, and it's moving toward change. And, and so, it, wait a minute. Yeah, so me. you have this, you have this kind of a thing going on through time. And in the case of the human species, mm -hmm. which we're particularly interested in, but within an right. ecological yeah, yeah, context, yeah. we emerged out of a long evolutionary process up the hominoid line, right? We agree now. Yeah, up I the hominoid you, yeah. line, how it all occurred is questions that can be addressed. There was also a pythocene four million years ago. One Wait a minute. species become another well, species? Then, all right, well then what Eldridge is proposing, yeah. I think is largely uh, accepted um, by science, is, that they have a, 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 a change. There are certain adaptive changes, a mutation or whatever, the mm -hmm. changes that happened in the passing on of the mm -hmm. genome, recombinant GN. Mm -hmm. and everything, and then it gets to a thing where a certain advantage, whether that doesn't necessarily mean you're, you're good with a club, it might mean that you're cooperative, so you're advantaged. Right. Anyway, I it's favored by the environment so that, that that survives and their genome passes into the future. And then it gets to a point, and then it's like coming to the end of a birth canal. Right. You're in a birth canal, and if you're in the womb, uh -huh. which we are, uh -huh. in terms of where we're going, right. maybe, right. if we're in the womb, you cannot know what it is outside so of the womb. So it makes now. a leap, you're saying. That's well, it where makes it makes a leap, I want but to avoid quantum leap, but no, it makes a leap. No, not a leap into a new form. That's speciation. That's speciation, but that does appears. not give me any laws to it. The closest I've come is this mm. roll in oh, you that got maybe a roll we in could with show some, with yeah. Bruce Lipton, it who's a theoretical the booth, biologist, okay. that explains at least how one species becomes another. Okay, well, that's and, fine. And that's this yours. is. Uh, He's Let's the closest to merging the material with the non-material. So if we can run that Material clip. with the non-material well, being merge what? What's the non-material? The non-material is this thing called consciousness. Consci no, 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 no. Well, consciousness emerges out of material. Or maybe material merges well, out that's of consciousness. Well, you're back to the Vedic. No, yeah. no, but let's go with this because... Okay, let's hear Let's hear, hear the sound, okay? Okay. Shut those other sound off, please. To go back. Don't you can't keep rolling. Why is there other rolling. sound coming no, through? Okay, we'll just talk. We can't do it. They got a I'm problem. Sorry. They'll try and set Why it up. Why is the other sound coming through? I don't know. It's a technical problem. <laughs> no. Just roll well, it in because we're going shut in real one of the time. Other. Best I can. Okay, good. One okay. of those other speakers so are up. But maybe anyway, they'll be able to. Yeah. He anyway, says, what's he saying? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for asking. No, he no, goes. No. We start with single cells. No, we start with the com We start okay, we with start the start basic beginnings of what was okay, to become DNA with and RNA. Okay. We start with that. Three bacteria. Bacteria is very advanced. We start with basic, basic life forms. And they're basic. making they're making progress mm -hmm. in coming to okay, understandings of how basic, that basic jump can from inorganic it, to organic began. Can we call it an amoeba? The, no, that's too much. It's too amoeba. complicated. Okay, we start with something very, very basic. Way back, way back. Exactly. Live. In a in a long long long. Long. There, no, it, it has it to be comes, alive or not comes, alive. No, 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 no. It, it, there is a transformation taking place that is going, breaking the is, barrier between inorganic and organic. And I don't some? accept, you said before, about their life forms out in the year. We do not have any firm evidence of the well, fact we that do, there, we it, do. Well, we do, we do, Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That wait, oh, that's another issue with Roswell and all that. Yeah, but yeah. we do not have anything that proves, as far as we know, Sete, they're trying to find it, they've been trying. We do not have any firm evidence that there there is a life process on any planet, in any galaxy, or any universe, no, other than this one. Not yet, we not don't, yet. But, but they are finding Earth-like planets. But you can't propose that it's there. Well, I Unless hypothesize that well, it's okay, there. You do, I'm but, not saying for sure, not, although I do that's know. Not oh, that's not materialistic. But let's go back to the basic base, because I want to understand something Yeah, I do here. too. Okay, so there's inorganic life, and then suddenly, is there simple, simple life? 
That occurs. Well, that again, was, it's the precursors to what, what does that was look to, like? the question of how we got through, and it's the only place we know, as far as we know for sure, that there has been a process evolution. of inorganic gases and so forth breaking over for reasons that have to be understood, and there's a lot of research going on, to the very early constituents of DNA and RNA and so forth that made or the organic the process start. Once you've got okay. to the organic process, you can just read with Darwin. Okay. Once you get to the organic but process, did, the, going, did we get to the organic? But have seen, they gotten there yet? You're saying no, no, not with certainty. They haven't. So no, they just have the building blocks of RNA. Well, I'll tell you one thing what? for sure in terms of time. Get a time scale. Mm -hmm. Australopithecine wouldn't have had any chance of even getting close to asking that question. Do you understand the difference between what has occurred when you get into the era okay. of Homo sapiens? Okay, but we're, and we're back gonna, to the idea about we may be coming to the end of our species. Okay, uh, but I don't know about planet. that. But let's make a jump to organic life, and we'll show this role in that will explain evolution in an organic, fundamental, anti-Darwinian way, okay? Oh, anti-Darwinian, that's Anti-Darwinian, because Darwinian understand. says there's no laws to evolution. Well, a lot he of people... He just says it happens. Well, that's... This guy explains how long. it happens. Okay, okay. okay. Darwin, okay. Darwin was a giant. Uh, our evolution okay. and a giant. And no, where there's a giant somewhere. Uh, there's let's no. hear the tape. Before there were multicellular organisms on this planet, there were only single cells. For billions of years, all there were were just single cells carrying out their own lives. But what happened was the cells recognized that they could increase their survival by gaining more awareness. Mm -hmm. But awareness was the membrane. Mm -hmm. So how do you gain? Well, you can either make bigger and bigger cells or you can take groups of cells, plug them together and let their membrane share information. Right, because a membrane will only hold so, so much, much and then it break apart. apart. Right. And the keyboard is only so big. Right, so you okay. had, we, we hooked up with other Multi cells. Okay, you to create at... a multicellular organism. So right. amoebas created us. Okay. But in reality, I am a bustling community of 50 trillion amoebas working in a community, sharing jobs and labor. Why? To create a living entity that will survive. Right. Human beings, individual humans, each one of you, each one of us is a cell in a larger community mm -hmm. coming together to share awareness, to create one living organism and it would be called humanity. Okay. We are not humans until we create humanity. Uh -huh. When we create humanity, which is when we all recognize that we're all cells in the same living organism mm -hmm. and work in a coherent fashion, we have then created the next level of evolution. Mm -hmm. The evolution is not on the individual. We already have all the information capacity that we can, we can't even deal with the amount we can deal with. Right. But once we come together in community, the synergy of awareness that will be passed from one cell to the next would be the equivalent of taking a single amoeba and comparing that life of that single cell to my human body, which is a community of amoebas. So is the internet a kind of next step in this community? The internet is, is a we... definite evolutionary leap. It is the equivalent of the communication system by which all the cells of my body are coherent. Mm -hmm. So that we have an ability for all the cells in our new human body, the mm -hmm. human organization, humanity, mm -hmm. to communicate with each other and share information, which is why the cells came together in the first place. So where are we going? The biological evolution is fractal, mm. meaning it has a very basic formula that reiterates itself over and over again. I'll give you an example. The cell of the human, the cell of the amoeba are essentially the same cell, same structure. Right. But then you look at all the diversity of biology and you say, but, but they're all basically the same cells. Right. So the fractal is the cell. And the chaos creates all the different organizations of cells, yet they're all still based on the same fundamental unit. Okay. But then the, pro the, the issue is this, the cell when it got to a big enough community, recapitulated itself in a community called the multicellular organism. Right. The human is a cell. Okay. Enlarged as a community, it's uh -huh. we are a cell. Okay. When a community of cells. We are community. Say. Yeah, but the human then actually is a reiteration of a cell. Okay. Point. Very simple. No matter how complex I am as a human, with all the functions that you ascribe to me, that. There are no new functions in my human body that are not already present in a single cell.
The human is a reiteration of a cell. Everything that I do, a cell already does. I mean, it's illogical. How can I do something that a cell can't do? I'm so, cellular. So yeah. now the community of humans are... Are a multicellular organization which comes together and makes a wholeness. Okay, now, but here's the interesting part. It sort of like jumps like bootstrapping itself. One cell mm -hmm. later becomes a, a human, which later becomes humanity. Mm -hmm. And when humanity is complete, the earth as an organism mm -hmm. completes its evolution. It's a living, breathing, pulsing Gaia. Uh -huh. It is now complete. When it is complete, what did when the cell completed its evolution, what was its next level of recourse? To hook up with other cells. Right. And when the human completed its evolution, what was it? To, to hook, hook up, up with, with other, other humans. humans. Right. When the earth completes its evolution, uh. we are then at the level of a unity mm. with a voice of unity that allows us to speak as a one, which will allow us to speak as, with other ones. Beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. That's that's a <laughs> Well, we're exciting. on the process. We're Life new reality is it or okay. the full version? What, okay, what, that's it. That's no, all understood. That's no, the, that's he's, Gaia. Yeah, that's he's saying the, the love awareness. And, and I, I'll yeah. give you the thing about consciousness. Mm -hmm. It comes down to awareness is the engines of evolution. This is what yeah, we're coming a, to. Yeah. So the synergy that you've been talking about right. is a synergistic awareness that we gain from from being humanity, being yeah, it's, coming it, together as yeah. a unit. It's it's characteristic of everything because everything is uh, uh, there's really nothing existent except synergistic resonance between systems in universe. That's all there is. But the synergy and, exists as and information so, and awareness. Well, that's true. And right. uh, and you've got uh, you've got a uh, a thing like that. And Gaia, Gia, Lovelock, and so forth. The idea. That's what I sent you a link uh, with the Gaia think, hand and the spreading. But do you all think that. the Earth is a living being? Well, yeah, I like the idea. Of Gaia, uh, Lynn Margulis is perhaps our leading biologist, I but think, and she would be certainly so, and she's also questioning the peer review process of the scientific process that's coming under wow. under attack now because of politicization of it. But anyway, that's another no, issue. But I want to understand. But she back would be to definitely regarded as our leading biologist, I'd I like think, to now, her. except that she has contact with John Lovelock. And the people who are the hard materialists and so forth think that's getting over into things like like spirituality, and they want to what? avoid that. That the like Earth the is a living being. Is yeah, a that, there, that the that Gaia, Gaia, the idea of Gaia is that the Earth is an organism, well, and that universe. has consciousness, and right? it has consciousness. Do you obviously. agree or not? Agree? No, I do. I tend to think that that is so. the case, and it's growing, and it's come out of the uh, evolutionary process that includes a consciousness among other things so that we, evolved more early. We agree, and in we are at the peak of the understanding of that, and we're the only system that can take that into account. A crocodile doesn't think about consciousness consciousness or any of these questions, there's an evolution of understanding right. that we are on the verge of moving into a whole new pattern, possibly. I'm with you. Wait a minute. We're I in the birth canal. We're in the birth canal. We've been here as a species 200,000 years, right. hitting each other Much on the head. Much more than that. All the, no, 200,000. Seven million years, really. No, I'm talking about our species. As consciousness. No, no. As our a conscious species. Consciousness no, as a conscious, as a self-aware animal. Well, we, with all due respect, I would, my, I would submit my, that, the, uh, that the, the idea of consciousness as we think of it in any sophisticated, either spiritual or even, okay. so, even, even materialistic scientific terms, isn't applying to Australia. Okay, let's go to 200,000 years as the birth of civilization no, as no, we know it. No, civilization, 8,000 years. We're talking 200,000 no. years, the beginning of our species. It could be traced no, to one individual okay. through mitochondria. You're they can creating a myth now. No, that's, that's not a myth, that's science. It's not it's they, science. Uh, all right. Okay. okay. But let's, uh, what let's do you agree. Think? I, I had a guy here who was now Jewish, you know, and he was really, I loved him. He's great. <laughs> I loved the Lubavitch guys, you know, and he was here and he's talking about the Jew, this is But the, science can't make those claims, no, though. They, that you, of it, course. It sounds they, just as religious as That's not making a claim. That's just common knowledge that that's not, the case. Of course it's, it's common. It's a stab in the dark. Now, you, you're coming up against you know, all the mythic systems that have been I'm put not, in place to give people a sense of identity throughout this long, I'm dark history. I'm not going there either, though. I'm not crazy. 
creating a mythic system, no. saying I don't know either. No, we have we scientism them, we've is called another them, we've religion. We've called them storytelling and religion. We talk about God, and in the Jewish thing, this is year two, five thousand seven hundred seventy-two. I don't care. Do you know what they say that is? It doesn't. Do you know what, what it what? is? Tell no, me. you know what it is. Tell me. They think they were with Daniel. That's when the whole universe started. I, five no, the Christians took that over too. No, I they know. got that term to Jesus. I know, but the that Christians took it over with the no, anti dark with the Scopes the, monkey the trial. The point is that there. There is absurdity. No, not absurdity but is the I'm wrong saying, term. Do you think science could be sound just as absurd? Science like, is relatively new in, in terms of In the future, you think the science of today will sound absurd to them? I don't. In the sense that no, they I will have we'll discovered. Under, we'll you know, understand. There was a time when Pasteur said there was a thing called a germ, and everybody said, I can't see it. It doesn't make any sense. People are ignorant. And then they invented the we've microscope. Had, yeah, we have There's also ignorant. a time where they said, you know, we're all alone in the universe. That's also will be seen as, as ignorance. As far as we know, we are. As far as, as, far as as we know, but if with you any look certainty, at the evidence. What evidence? The evidence of, of God? government. No, government cover-ups. The crash. UFOs, You're getting into the, the political. No, it's political because there's so much more well, that the government okay. is not telling Get us. Get synergetic again. It okay. may be Roswell may be right, and the government has got a big conspiracy to hide it, and that makes sense in a way okay, thank because you. humanity is so imbued with these religious stories and creation, and the idea that there's a thing from outer space or something would be such a trauma. They have to do it Look, slowly. That there, might make there, it might be. Thank it, you. But it probably doesn't, or it might not. There's so it's synergy. We don't know what we're used doing. People to think the Earth was the center of the universe, that, they, and there was a whole science. Ptolemy's science was based on the irregularity yes. of the Or orbits. even remember they put Galileo in prison of for saying we did. were not the center because it didn't tie into the myths, political or and religious, so saying, to give people what identity. What I'm saying to you doesn't tie into your scientific myths that you're what, proposing. What that we were two hundred thousand years? Yes, it does. Of course, is much older than that. It is not. not no, not the humanity. The hominoid line, you're confusing. I think it's old, it older took, than that. Well, actually. we had Australopithecine, four to seven million years, and then there came, and there were divisions. There were a lot mm -hmm. of differences. We had Homo erectus. We had Homo habili, and then came Homo habilis, and we're almost certainly descended, Eve, that emerged into our species, which is all human beings out of Africa, 200,000 years you're ago. You're saying there's an Eve. Then. Yeah, well, there oh. could well be, yeah. Okay, it could get back to an individual. Isn't there a missing link in there? How... Um you know, uh, Homo sapiens became who we are. Well, it, it, that, 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 the thing is, it, it's science. It's understood. Now, it's this, not understood. I told, you I haven't didn't. explained anything scientifically. You didn't explain how we went from orga inorganic to organic. You said there's a leap. You didn't explain well, speciesization. You didn't explain the... You're not well, giving me done, science. No, You're well, just giving me the leaps no, that no, science takes when the it doesn't The investigations within the scientific process with respect for the scientific process for learning and understanding and learning things and all of that. And we've gotten now to the point, and one of the unique things about Homo sapien, mm -hmm. in terms of the other creatures that have evolved, mm -hmm. much less the uh, for, uh, for flora, is that we have the ability to extend our consciousness, our, I, our mental process, I brain, into the environment I agree through with tools you. and technology I, and make the environment other than, in an Eden like sense, what we have to adjust to. That is so we have the a great, great capability. We, I agree. That we have is the opposable the, thumb and all that. That is the great gift that humanity and is, that, that now, we can that be aware of awareness, and there's probably only other uh, dolphins and whales, the only other species dolphins that can are do really that. Dolphins really good, that's the cicadas, they, but, but, but we've gotten cications. to that point, and we've come to cetaceans, thank you, but it's, we're coming to that point now, but let's, what, no, what I'm trying to make the point of, yeah. since we're moving along in a world of time and so forth, we're now at a point where we have extended that consciousness, and the leading, we didn't get civilization about 8,000 years ago when we got agriculture and things, and and then there's been that. And James Joyce said history is a nightmare uh, that I'm trying of to wake injustice. Up from. Yeah, that, that I'm attempting to awake, from which I'm attempting to awaken. He said that in awaken. chapter two of Yeah, right, right. Okay, so all of that. So that's history. That's it. If you go back into the further history of pre-humanity or pre-homo sapien, it's even more. It's red in tooth and claw although it's probably cooperative uh, gestures that did give advantage to one group or another, all able to be understood within the thing that began way back with the earliest but, constituents of DNA. But it materialistic cannot be understood because it's not understood yet. No, but you, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to intervene with something like a divine spirit well, yeah. or a mind or, or a consciousness. Context. Or a no, non-local no, consciousness. consciousness. Consciousness emerges out of, you out of say material. That. But you're saying it can all be explained. You want to get rid of the saying, God. 
I would like God. to explain it without something called consciousness, but you no, have not, not explained consci it. No, consciousness emerged. We, we had a, no, you're saying consciousness emerged. Yeah, you had a... Con you have course. not explained it, Harold. This is why I'm trying to point the hole into your argument. Yeah. I'm saying, no. okay, oh. I'd rather not go to a God theory either. That's what we've I had do to do. That's what we've had to do but over 200,000 years of trying to understand. I don't want to make we, a religion either. Uh -huh. I'm trying to That's look for we, the science. No, religion or political it. or any of the means by which... I don't want to make evolution of any type we of had a religious, unique, spiritual experience. Another thing we had that was unique to the consciousness of Homo right. sapiens as a species as opposed to, let's say, there's only about 1.5% difference between the genome of a Homo sapien and a chimpanzee. Right. About the same difference between a female Homo sapien and a male Homo mm -hmm. sapien. That's another issue See, you get into, but uh, but one of the things that they uh, one of the other things that they could uh, what, what they're they're able to do is to take uh, have a self reflective conscience. They can think about things that a crocodile doesn't contemplate the nature of the universe. You know what? Another great leap for humanity was this ability to feel and to love and to exchange emotion. Animals do that in very very simple well, ways. Well, we don't have very good measure, do we? Well, yeah. we, can't we talk are doing to them. that all the time. Now, our arts are about the exchange of emotion. This is something that distinguishes us or from civilization. all. Civilization other, or civilization, civilization yeah, yeah. and that's something that comes from an immaterial realm. Well, this, I'm not so sure. It doesn't sense no, is immaterial. You can agree with that. No, right? I do not. Where it could emerge material? out of the evolutionary process. That it just emerged it in could, an evolutionary. It it's could. synergetic. There's no absolutes. But now what that does happen when you're going through this process, we're coming to the end of 200,000 years. We had the unique ability to extend consciousness, make the environment in a new way. And we've now done that in a way, getting into the contemporary political, we've done that in a way, the leading edge of that research that was done Galileo was put in prison for saying we weren't the center of the universe because you're messing with people's uh, inherited senses of identity. Exactly. And, and I'm okay. messing with Now we're by doing that now. We are. By saying there's other life out there, that's the same distortion that Galileo did that I and other people are doing to the mainstream who says, like you, Prove it. There's nothing else. I'm saying, let's suppose there is. How does that change our perspective well, that's on humanity? Thing. It's fine. I got nothing against it. So could let's be. Keep no, it's that synergy. Hypothesis. It's synergy. It's synergy. synergy. So there may be. There may be. But the synergy point. Synergy would prove that we're not alone. No, it may. What we may be coming to. Well, I suggest. Yeah. Okay. okay that's what's what, that's coming? That's all I'm suggesting. All right. Too. Yeah. It, it, but it, it's synergetic, and its behavior systems are something more. There may be Gaia. There may be a resonancy more than. A, let's just say. It's, we had the ability. We have the ability to extend consciousness. What's that been used politically, and the most uh, advanced use of that in terms of the organization of human society is to create weapons. No, so that a political uh, okay, group. But that's uh, let me finish. very low level of civilization creating weapons. No, it's the, it's the, the high highest level. is creating art. No, well that's which allows that's people a to value feel judgment. a greater sense of themselves. And well, each if you other. measure, you could measure in economic terms and so forth. The research you of the Medici up against the cannon. Medici's was out there to get Da Vinci to make a siege machine or an advantage over another tribe, so they could go either con uh, Look, conquest them, make their tribe strong, do real politic, all of that kind of stuff, the nation state, that's emerged. What? And those weapon systems now, Alan, mm -hmm. and it's done, Joe Friendly had a thing on with uh, that's one James, level no, with, okay, um, with who's the guy that talks on this, mm -hmm. and, uh, that the weapon systems that exist now, Look. even though the start and everything, have become qualitatively new from anything even in our lifetime. The Second World War, we could kill each that's other. A, okay, Let me Harold, make the point. I, that is the point. No, that isn't the point. Wh the, point the point is that we have a unique capability that we've not had throughout the human experience, right. and we now have a capability with the weapon systems that exist and are there, even though start and the numbers are right. coming down and everything. You, we have it that if they're unleashed, Right, it means the end of the homo sapiens know, species. Do you think that's true? That is true. If Harold, that is true, Harold, that's an existential new reality in the no, universe. It, we've had is that not? since the beginning of nuclear weapons. No, that we has have not. We didn't have it until about the year 1970. No, we're not talking we about didn't. that level of civilization. No, we're, we're talking. You're talking about. Uh, then you're talking about politics and the Let's extension. go back to what I was trying to make a point here: is that mm. there is evolution. Right? There's a, there's a method or a science how one species evolves into one that has greater awareness. Yeah, we understand awareness. it pretty well, yeah. We're moving as humanity to a level of great awareness. And yes, we can be aware of our destruction, but can also 
throw it's it into synergetic. A, it yeah. could also create an even better future for well, us. Well, no, no, more than a better. we realize yeah. that we are so connected to each other that mm -hmm. we have to cooperate. Yeah, but realize and something. And that will be our next okay. phase. Okay, maybe. Now, that yes. will not be. There's nothing definite. There's nothing says. That may Alan, be. A, maybe. You cannot. I it's said, synergy. That, okay, that it may, may or may be not. Our it next may phase. mean, it may be in the universe and the evolution of things with humanity stacked on top of the whole process mm -hmm. and now right into the current affairs of the moment. We do have weapon systems that, if they're unleashed, it's the end of the Homo sapiens species. Immediately, okay. or essentially you, immediately. You, now that could not be done in the Second did World you hear War. About the, Second World uh, War was 1945 at the end. Okay, we were firebombing. Wait, did now you the, hear about the press conference that just happened in Washington, where Air Force people came forward and said there were UFOs over nuclear missile silos? That made them inoperative. Wonderful. That's good news. I think it should come out. It should come well, out. That may be. There may be. So there may be may flying be blown, But I have a very but powerful any, belief that we're evolving towards a greater good, a greater compassionate humanity. Well, that may be. That's and also, my, Kate, and but, there's a science to but that. You are, yes. And, but you understand, you take the one first. That's true. It was, it's an existential new reality okay, in Europe. Now, mean, on doesn't the other mean side, anything. no, but on the other side, the yeah. technological capability on the yin and the yang, or the positive side, yeah. you seem to like positive, and, you uh, and so like forth. Me, yeah. And uh, no, just to make the point, I get, that is I different. get the point. I get the point. This point. Let's look at the positive. And the positive side is we have transcended, in terms of our capability, technological, with all the, with all the um, nanotechnology and things that are coming down now, we have transcended as an an ontologic reality of the cultural development of this planet within the ecological context, material scarcity. Thank you. All of human existence has been formulated in its institutions within so a condition where, of scarcity. Where do we, we have go transcended now that, that if we can keep the nuclear destructive weapons on hold and we can feed everybody, mm -hmm. where I see civilization blossoming into one that's based on art and beauty and love and creativity. Well, it might that's well, the new species. Yeah, well, it might well be we would have a liberated humanity as opposed to an enslaved humanity, which has been the case throughout well, all the civilizations. Well, we have to get rid of government we still, as well, we get rid know of it, it, right? To, we have to incorporate, subsume that. We have to have vision to be able to do that. We have to have a system of elemental justice for all humanity rather than just those who are very successful in a geopolitical sense no, of and we have to see the rule. value of life as and, well well okay. that's what's so yeah, but important we don't, but understand no, how but important. some of us are but do you understand that's the qualitative transformation that's, signaling the end of the birth canal and that we're going to be coming if we get gaia if we get everybody realizing their major their their full capability rather yes. than working like slaves that they have been and are with systems that are out of date with what is required to make that transition if we get that which we don't have yet if we get that we are going to come into it like an orchestra we're going to come into a resonating new relationship to universe but that we I cannot know you. what that is we cannot so that makes this, this is the, what this make, that makes this the most important moment as i said that's Asimov why i'm said. doing my program because i'm hypothesizing about what that could all be. of that can be understood in strictly be. materialistic terms no uh, no god no flying saucers, no Nazca lines, none of the kind of things it like that. It can be. Just strictly from a material, because that's what the political powers listen to. It, they don't listen to the We're not talking about political, we're hypothesizing we what the move. greater future could be, and it means we're, no. we're greater than the materiality that we are uh, composed of. Well, uh, well, okay, yeah, there's something you know. more than the sum of the parts. Thank that, you. But that means that, you got to hear the Tiffany. You, you can't just hear the tubas or the, the brass bands of the military organizations that run the world still do, and the injustice inherent in the institutional assumptions I agree. of human nature and everything. I We're in for a qualitative transformation. And like what does that look like? It's punctuated. I'm, we don't know. But We're I'm taking in the a, room. We, we don't know, know, but I'm taking That's a stab point. at it. Well, they've been taking a stab at it and said there's God and all no, these No, forget of things. that. Get rid of that. Forget that. Forget religious institutions. No, you, forget no. that. Let's create a new formula for non-local consciousness, okay? okay? Let's call it non-local, well, it's, it's immaterial don't essence. Don't get rid Let's of not them, call it God. But Let's call it the essence of, of 
creativity. Well, pre- well or the right. Dow. We call it a synergistic of, resonance. You can a call it that. If that energy. makes you feel better. Yeah. And that might be that we're at a point of punctuated equilibrium in the evolution of universal consciousness. We're transcending 200,000 years of our right. existence. And we're moving and to we a theological destiny. Okay. We agree, we agree with that? that? Well, I think we're out now. Unless oh. the, the clock is run out. We're so, letting it run, but you're out. Yeah, oh. we're well, out. How would that go? But what happened to... Why was that sound? Were you okay? Um, no, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so my I, pleasure. Did, my you, pleasure. did we learn?